Myriad 5 has cut, looped cards just like Myriad 4, but they've been improved in many different ways. Um, so you can have multiple loops on an individual card now, and it's a much clearer and simpler system for both adding the loops and triggering them when they're using. So let's have a look at one in action. Here we've got a bed that's got a loop already predefined on it. Um, you can tell it's got a little icon there which tells you that. If I drop into a card player, you can see it very clearly indicates where the loop is. So it's an 18 second loop. There's 10 iterations on this one and it's also set to jump to the end when we exit. So let's see how that works in practice. So this is a travel bed. So let's do the travel news. Okay, uh, it's really, really busy everywhere. It always is. Um, so if you're driving a car, uh, it's gonna be a long one. Uh, if you're driving a horse and cart, well, uh, even longer because you can go slowly. If, however, you're on a motorbike, you're probably okay because you can zip through the traffic with no problems. So here we can see that the loop is going round and round. So let's say we're coming to the end of our travel plan. All we have to do is click on the loop button and it'll jump straight to the end of the loop and play the end of the audio item. So here we go. And that's looping in Myriad 5.